I assume at this point you've all seen the photo of Prime Minister Justin Trudeau holding a hammer backwards while at a construction site photo op, taking a photo with some construction workers who look pretty awkward, with Justin Trudeau looking the most awkward. And I know a lot of other commentators made entire videos about this photo. I didn't really think it was worth it. It's not worth an entire video, just this one weird photo. So, for your viewing pleasure, I went down the rabbit hole. And for the life of me, I cannot find a photo of Justin Trudeau not looking awkward on a construction site and holding a tool that's more complex than a pencil. I don't know who is his comms team who keeps letting him go on construction sites and be photographed because it only makes him look more like a trust fund kid than he already was. He's a trust fund kid of a trust fund kid, and it really shows. If he's in a kayak, if he's doing something recreational, if he's bungee jumping, it looks like he's in his element. You give him a hammer, you give him a shovel, you give him a power drill, it's so weird. It's It, it reminded me immediately of this old website, Kim Jong-un looking at things, because there's this like treasure trove of photos from North Korean propaganda of their dictator, the dear leader, just looking at stuff, just looking at stuff, just pointing at stuff, looking at stuff, just kneeling down, checking out a table, you know, looking at some spaghetti or whatever is going on there, looking at some cribs. It's only ever weird. And with Justin Trudeau, I'll get to those photos in a second. It is only ever the weirdest thing you've ever seen. It's like, again, it's his first day on the planet. As soon as you give him a hammer, it's like his eyes kind of light up and he doesn't know what to do. But before I get to those photos, I just quickly want to plug the fact that I, Wyatt Claypool, am running for the Calgary Signal Hill Conservative Party nomination. This is what the boundaries of the riding on the west side of Calgary will look like after the boundaries get changed in late April. But if you live in this riding and you're a real conservative, buy a membership and vote for me number one on your ballot for the conservative nomination so we make sure we don't end up with a bunch of red Tory representatives who would have ran for the liberals if they had a better chance in these ridings. It's a big game that goes on. But anyways... Without further ado, I just quickly want to start off with the photo of Justin Trudeau wearing boots at a construction site a while back. And, you know, I, the blame goes all around to his cabinet because I don't know what possessed these people to take photos like this, all wearing new work boots that are like making their pants ride up, not wearing construction hats. It's, it's terrible. But that's the least terrible. And then you get to this one where Justin Trudeau wearing a mask is trying to drill a solar panel. I don't know what he's trying to drill. I looked really closely. It didn't even look like there was some bracket he was trying to drill. He just is holding a power drill while kneeling over a solar panel, not bracing himself or anything. So he's obviously not putting pressure on it. I don't get it. It's so odd looking. And here's him. I think it was during flooding where they were filling sandbags. And this is, remember, famously, he got yelled at for disrupting the whole bag filling and he's holding a shovel backwards while trying to stick it in the dirt. Like, you could say, well, maybe he's trying to chip away at something. I don't know what he's trying to chip away at. It's loose dirt. You should just be shoveling it like this. Like, make no mistake, I am not a guy who's, like, natural around power drills. I do not wield a chainsaw like Javier Mele from Argentina. Don't, don't give me a hammer either. But my team, if I had a team, would not be stupid enough to let me hold a hammer. And here's Justin Trudeau holding a hammer trying to nail something. He's just sort of like holding it against something while having this weird pose of like, well, I, I don't know what he's attempting to do. He just seizes up like he just took a bunch of ketamine every time you give him a power drill. And it's not just construction sites. It's also on boats. So when I, I guess when he was pretending to be a fisherman, he just sitting there doesn't doesn't know what to do with the netting. It's It's confusing to him. He's scared. He wants his mom. He doesn't understand what this weird net is in front of him. And I just quickly want to go back to the other one where he's holding the hammer backwards. Like, again, who's his photographer? Who isn't telling Justin, like, hey, you know how you have it there? Just turn it around and do that. And then we don't look like idiots in putzes. But no, his comms team is way overpaid. This is where I actually sympathize with Justin Trudeau. The man's incompetent. And his team, who I hope is not less competent than him, for some reason, doesn't curb the bad imagistics he constantly generates for himself by, I don't know, like by like trying to make himself look working class. It, it, it's horrifying. And then there's this photo of him in some like shop class, very proud of his piece of wood that he cut with the help of the, uh, the teacher. I didn't get that photo, but like the teacher had to like show him how to like drill things and cut things. It was a bit odd. Uh, yeah, never do that. The thing with these is that it's trying to make the person relatable. Look, they're working class. Look, they're working hard. It's representative of the economy booming. But 
what benefit do you really gain by taking these photos? The only the only thing that could happen is that you make a fool of yourself because no one's going to see you in a hard hat thinking, oh man, he's the right guy for me. Nobody thinks that. So by going and taking these photos, you only run the risk of looking like a simpleton, uh, like not like kind of grappling onto a drill here. Like he doesn't know what he's holding. Like someone just handed him an alien artifact and he's wondering where like, you know, he's wondering how this thing's supposed to pour champagne for him. It, it's like, again, who's telling him to do any of this stuff? Uh, I want to find if I want to see if I can quickly find the video of him trying to hammer something. Oh, I can't find that one. It doesn't matter. But there's this other video, if you remember, of him trying to drive a nail into a wall. And this woman's watching him on the construction site, just like looking like just deer in a headlights because of how cringy it is seeing him kind of like knock the hammer. And he's not like swinging the hammer, holding it there, swinging the hammer into the nail. He's like kind of like, he's like kind of like doing this. He's like punching the nail with the hammer and he's like missing a lot. And he's having to like reset. Goodness. Politicians should stay in their office. They should go to white collar working environments. They should stand at a podium wearing a suit in front of a construction site. Do not enter the construction site. Do not put on boots. Do not put on a hard hat. Do not do anything. If you're not allowed to be on the construction site without a helmet, you're probably, a, you shouldn't be there in the first place. Uh, just a word of advice, guys. Just look normal. Uh, the, the imagistics of po politics is very sensitive. And Justin Trudeau was never the guy who needed to highlight his working class background. Because guess what? He doesn't have one. His dad didn't have one either. So him trying to like get down and dirty is just horrifying. He's a guy, he's like a surfer dude. You don't bring your surfer dude friend to help you build a house. He's going to screw it up. Just give him like a clamato and make him sit on the sidelines. That's Justin Trudeau's place. He should be canoeing. He should be bungee jumping. He should be boxing. He even looks like a competent boxer. As many people share that photo of him being punched in the face, which is funny. He's a good boxer. But if he's not doing something that doesn't have a feeling of, of, of a rich person playing polo, it's like he doesn't, he, he looks immediately like he's out of place and he has no way of relating to any of these people. Because he can't relate to any of these people. Because in a certain sense, he fundamentally hates working class individuals. Anyways. But that should be it for me today. Uh, there was way more photos than just this. I maybe found one or two photos where he looked semi-competent. And it was only whenever he was just standing at a construction site, never holding a tool. But that should be it for me today, guys. Again, if you live in Calgary, Signal Hill, buy a conservative membership, vote for me. My website's in the description below, wyattclaypool.com. So visit that if you can. And then also, uh, if you want to donate to the TNT uh, legal fund. It will help me really reduce the burden of cost on myself for all the lawsuits that we get from nefarious individuals trying to attack us for reporting the truth. We literally referenced this billionaire developer who's suing us in an article and hyperlinked to a Globe and Mail investigation about him. And because we merely hyperlinked to another article that was negative about him that had been up for a year and a half from the Globe and Mail, he sued us mostly because he detected that we couldn't pay and then he could like basically coerce a fake apology out of us in uh, like so that he could pretend that every negative thing ever said about him has been totally debunked and false look at this piece of paper from Wyatt Claypool showing that they defamed me so everything else negative ever said about me must be false that's his game we're not going to play into it we're not going to apologize and so we're $26,000 deep in fighting back so anything you can donate does help us a lot anyways that should be it for me today, guys. See you later.